So today I've got um, for you just some little goodies on helping you uh, build on your abdominal strength and endurance for swimming and also your core stabilizers and it really this is helpful stuff to help you hold a good body line in the water or to have the ability to do it. Okay, let's get started and we're going to get on to, first of all, some lateral trunk flexion. You can think of it as waist work. So you're going to come onto your ball, stagger your feet to the side, and uh, you're going to bring your hands behind your head, and from here we're going to lower down and we're going to lift up. And how far you come up depends on your range of motion. Ready? And begin. We're going to go three, lots of ten on each side. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach your top hand. We're going to see if we can pull up and hold a little higher. If you really want to feel the uh, area that we're firing right now, take your bottom hand, put it right below the shoulder and above the hip. You're going to feel that muscle group kicking in. Go for your second set. One, two. So this is a nice little quick hit workout. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, see if you can bring it up a little higher. Don't pull on your head though. Draw your trunk up, nice and tight. Shoulders are down and back. And let's go for one final set of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your top arm this time. We're going to stretch it over. Nice big long lateral length as far as you can. And let's go ahead and switch sides. I really like the way the bossu uh, challenges us. Uh, a little bit further than we would. If we were on the ground. We get a little bit more of a balance and stabilization challenge. Okay, second side. We're going to go through ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, no pulling on the head here. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up there at the top. Stretch your top arm. See if you can walk those fingers a little further down your thigh. Okay, you got it. We're gonna do the two more times. Second round, one, two, three. Then we'll get into our balance on the side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, you got it, ten, hold it up there, we'll go for round three, we've got ten of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, one to go, ten, and we'll take that nice overhead reach there. Okay, so coming up, now we're going to move into a stabilization or balance move. That was our strengthening move for our lateral trunk. Now on this one, if you want to make it easier, you can go ahead and pick up one foot and bring one hand and wrap it around your rib cage with your elbow on the mat. If you want to go for that added challenge, you know, just search around on top of the ball here, and we're going to bring both hands to wrap around the chest, and the goal is to pick up those feet and hold ourselves in a straight line. Okay, get yourself into position. Now, if you've ever felt a little out of balance in the water, this can mimic that, and you'll notice how everything is pulled in very, very tightly. Begin for one, two, three, Four, firing the abdominals, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. So this also works on scapular stabilization. It's really good for the health of your shoulders. It's very important to us swimmers. Number two, pick up the feet, one or both feet for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring it down, 
Okay, we're gonna do one more of those and then we'll switch sides. Um, I'm on my stronger side first, so I can show my uh, not a strong side how it's done. Lift up and hold for one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, search to feel the areas really kicking in here. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's switch it up. So we'll switch sides. Take a moment or two to find your sweet spot here up on top of the ball. So the goal is to pick up one or both feet. We're going to wrap those hands around the chest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, rest it down. I'm going to hang out up here. You can join me or take a little breather. Second round. If you're taking a breather, pick up one or both legs and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, rest it off. We're going to do one final one. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You've got it. Sit it on up. So, lots of really intensive waist work. We're also working on our back extensors, abdominals and obliques. So now let's move on to straight rectus abdominis and your transverse down the front. Uh, vital for strong, powerful swimming. We're going to do three rounds again. Bring the small of your back to the front side of the ball. We're gonna take it all the way back and we're gonna exhale and lift it up. Okay, we've got three rounds of 10, begin. One, two, three. Now when you recline back, make sure you keep that rib cage pulled down in the small of your back, pressed into the ball. Four more, four, three, two, and one. So we've got a little bonus offer here for you. Bring your left arm right above your hip, your, um, arm right into your ear and we're going to do eight small lifts eight seven six five four three two switch sides eight seven six five four three two one straight into round two stick with me all the way down all the way up one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one arm up, put that right by your ear, small little lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Okay, here we go. Round three, straight into it. Should be feeling a nice build up of heat in the front of your body here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, on this last one, if you want it a little harder, I want you to strive for a full streamline if you have the mobility in your shoulders. So rather than just one arm up, wrap your hands and wrists and wrap your thumb around and we're going to lift that whole trunk for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little rest on the back of the head here, that neck does get fatigued, so we're going to repeat that or you can leave your hands behind your head. Okay, come with me here in a streamline or head supported, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, sit it on up. Okay, so we've done our waist work, nice and supported. We worked on strengthening, then we did some balance and stabilization. We've done our strengthening on the front. Now we're going to do a little bit of 
balance stabilization on the front and strengthening for two. So here's the scoop. Um, we had both feet down. Two points of contact on the floor meant I had more help through my abdominal area. If I take those points of contact off, now my abs have to kick in so much more than they did with my feet on the ground. So you could choose to be right here and balance, or you could come with me into a crunch. So we're gonna go for 10, ready? Begin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. How'd you do? So how you did can determine how you proceed on the next two rounds. Feet down or feet up. You might try one foot up if you're somewhere in between. All right, come with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. How about this? Got your lucky last coming up, and then you're through this nice little quick burst core workout. Okay, let's go. You really want to get these in two to three days a week for uh, the most effectiveness. Doesn't mean that you need to do this exact little sequence as others to choose from, but I do like this one a lot. Okay, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze tight, ten, and release it. Stretch your feet out, open the chest, and come on up. Well, you knocked that one out of the ballpark. That was good. Well, look, tune in. We've got some, uh, some more stuff coming in the... Uh, next five to seven days so tune in there regularly you'll find a few new moves and i'll help keep you honest as we uh, head through the winter thanks for tuning in